what's up? It's Jess here. I actually got my computer to camera me, to video me. I'm so happy because as you guys know, I've been doing my phone just up to my face in the big close shots on all my videos, but now I've got the computer going and finally I get to show you some things that I've been wanting to show you and haven't been able to. So I wanted to share this quick tip with you guys about YouTube and the videos, um, the URL matching up with the URL in the video manager, in your edit area. And basically, I had an issue uploading a video the other day, and I've been uploading videos with no problems for weeks, but for some reason the other day, I went to upload this video and it uploaded it from my phone to YouTube, and what I'll usually do after that step, after it uploads to YouTube, I'll copy that URL and put it into my blog platform. And, you know, sometimes it takes it a few minutes before I can actually see the video. This time I didn't see anything. It was an absolute black screen. And so that was my first indication that something was not right. So I said, okay, well, maybe it's just taking a little longer, it's cloudy, and maybe the reception isn't, I just didn't know. So I decided to give it a few extra minutes. Well, nothing was happening at all with that video. So unfortunately, I went ahead and I posted that thing everywhere, and it never, here it is a few days, like, you know, last week, but it still didn't work. So today I decided to get to the root of the problem and figure out what was going on with my video. It was uploaded to YouTube perfectly, but wouldn't take it wouldn't take that URL at this other platform. So what I did is, here's my video. What I did was I went in to the video manager button tab right here, click that. It brings up all your videos. It also has a cool little edit button here that you can do with your videos. So I'm going to click this edit button and that brings all your behind the scenes info right up where you can change it around. Now this URL right here is the official URL that I finally figured out was the correct one. Now this should match the other one, but in my case, that one time it didn't match up, so it wouldn't take it. So make sure you get this URL and it matches the other, otherwise you're not gonna get see your video. And another really cool thing, you can, you can um, set your thumbnail, like if it catches you in a moment of silly, silly expression, like I get it all the time, you can switch that around and when it shows your little caption, you know, if you're sharing it on Facebook, it shows a little caption of you, you can make it a little, bo a little bit more appealing if you choose the right thumbnail. So that's a good little thought. Also, you know, your settings, um, if you want it to be public or private, then your category is a big deal too. You've got all these different categories. To now that should appear when you're put first putting your video in anyway. But if it's something you want to change after a few weeks, you can always pop in here to edit it. And here's all the info. So go, don't forget, if you change anything, don't forget to hit that save changes. I know that's kind of obvious, but for people like me that forget the little small details, sometimes that helps. And then just go back. I didn't change anything, so I'm just going to go back to video manager, and it should go ahead and bring up where I was before with all the videos. Yes, here we are. So, I hope that tip has helped you guys. At some point, you never know if something like that will happen. It's going to throw you off and you won't really know how to remedy that. And you never really think about the URLs matching, but sometimes they slip up even. So make sure you double check that URL before you put it in and post it all over the place so that people can get your information. All right, you guys have a great day, and I'll be shooting another video for you tomorrow. Peace.